Hello lads, welcome back to Lustria. Before I get into the episode, I would just like to say that um, I actually make this video a few hours after I made uh, the previous video. And the caffeine by the old father, coffee is one hell of a drug. I'm still feeling quite hyped indeed. So um, yeah, for those of you who missed this uh, in the... Last episode, I said that I had taken a coffee after a good few weeks without any coffee at all. And uh, the effect is much higher once you have gone off coffee, as opposed to before when I drank coffee on a regular basis. So I just want to say that for, um, for your interest. And also, I have uh, been to the gym, uh, did 3x3 three three squats at 180 kg and push press three sets of six repetitions at 90 kg and then obviously had a shower and a hot shower actually usually i have cold showers but since i had a coffee i thought i wanted to relax and calm down a bit and usually when i have my cold showers i feel a bit more energetic but now i want the opposite so i can sleep tonight so uh so the caffeine doesn't um Take away all possibility, all possibilities of sleep. Um, anyway, with that being said, let's get into the episode at hand. So we got uh, mugged by these uh, Chad High Elves, uh, unfortunately. But uh, we have to go back and deal with uh, Sud, the Dark Elf Rebels. So we're gonna head back to do that. Uh, we can do something fun. Uh, with our monetary gains and what I think about doing is actually building a gold mining once extracted from the mountains gold is smelted into bars or even minted into coins and that will give us 1200 golds each turn that is absolutely massive so some advice if you if you play total war is uh, growth in the beginning and then as soon as you can get uh, the income because that obviously will allow us to um, build things and to recruit better units so boom gonna go do like that and uh, see what the crack is next turn ho ho look at that it seems that we might get our vengeance sooner than expected. So, um, okay, we have Vigor in Battle Tired. That is uh, a uh, setback, of course, but we do have our Black Ark. So, um, I can't run away. So, we have to take this battle. And now, obviously, I'm hoping very much indeed that I can actually redeem my performance in the last episode so we get this uh, revenge. Uh, because this is obviously... I hope that the title of this particular video can be Vengeance on the High Elves or something like that. But uh, we will see what, uh, what the crack is once we get into the battle. And now, obviously, I have the advantage that they have to come to me, since they are the um, aggressors, they are initiating this uh, particular boxing match. So, um, yeah, we have a still a good setup of units. Luke here is almost full health, and he is obviously a better one-on-one -on -one fighter than um, Sheldilon here, uh, I can just assume, because he has his... Uh, ultimate duelist or um, some such uh, epic ability and then uh, our manticore still alive not all too much in uh, in health so we'll have to be quite careful with him he will probably stay behind the battle lines and then be deployed at some stage when everyone else is um, also engaged so I'm just gonna place you there and um, I'm quite satisfied with this battle line uh, as it looks at the moment so uh, yeah not much to it let's um, get into it Lokir epic uh, horn there reminds me of um, 
Battle of Helm's Deep. Uh, which reminds me, I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in, um, in a good while. That's absolutely blasphemous, obviously. In an ultimate world, you would watch Lord of the Rings at least once a year. I haven't done so. Uh, busy times, busy times. Hopefully it will be, things will calm down in a bit. I don't suppose they will, but uh, anyway. Um, so... I suppose we'll speed up the battle here, and uh, we have three each of these um, supporting spells from uh, the ship, and that is, if anything, what can turn the tide. Because, as you can see there, they are outnumbering us quite a bit. We can actually have a look at um, what is uh, what is up here. Lord and Sea God, um, really great units. Spearmen, decent enough, and they do have some Illyrian Reavers, um, which is not good at all, because we don't have any Spearmen that can counter that. Um, maybe we can actually have our Manticore uh, deal with them. Now the skirmishing begins. Boom. Ah, oh, they are, um... Die, weaklings! Corsair handbones! They are indeed, uh, they're quite dangerous, um... Bleak swords! Dealers in death! Their units, and there comes the cavalry. I should, of course, have anticipated that. I'm gonna try to intercept with my units there. Forward! Now! Let's see if we can do something fun with the Manticore. Maybe he can actually attack. Bring me slaves! Bring me slaves. Boom, okay, cool. I'm gonna try to... Uh, Charge them, they will probably get shot to uh, to bits there, but uh, that will take away the pressure from the other units for maybe just a um, just a bit at least. Now let's see, where do we have other? Okay, we still need to uh, break this, guys. Look here, have you killed your enemy? No, you have not. Uh, you will have to do that. Um, quite soon, if this uh, battle is supposed to be, um, if this battle is supposed to go um, our way. And now, obviously, yeah, I I don't think we will redeem ourselves in in this battle. Uh, so we'll have to. Uh, do it next time, I suppose. Or Manticore has uh, disappeared. Defend Ulthuan. Could have that on a t-shirt instead of Defend Europe. Defend Ulthuan. Uh, no, Defend Europe on a t-shirt works equally well. Speaking of which, I have written an article, the latest one on the golden one dot se uh, regarding. Uh, uh, the latest clothing, uh, so uh, check that out if you uh, want to read a bit about the company and the um, and uh, yeah and the clothes. Uh, definitely a good article, uh, if I may be so bold, of course. Now, if we can just get a good bombardment in there. I would be very happy. And that was a good hit. It was a really good hit. Boom. I am um, I'm happy about that. Um, now what I don't want to happen, of course, is that Luke here gets um, gets wounded. So hopefully he will be routed last. Okay, yes, he will. 
Ähm, okay. Okay, so close. Aha, we did lose our entire army. That is not particularly good at all. I have completely ruined our plans for um, for this campaign. Uh, no, I have not. It's um, absolutely fine. It's just that I suppose we'll have to wait a while until we get the revenge on these lads. Um, wounded. Okay, so... You cannot hold us. And I'm playing on very hard for anyone. Uh, so you don't think I'm a complete noob getting beaten in two battles in a row. So anyway, we'll have to um, choose another lord. So we have a dark uh, supreme sorceress. Uh, disciplined. Mm, that's good enough. Aggressive. Confident. Leadership 2 plus all units in the army. That's good. Cruel. Income from raiding. I don't really raid all too much, I suppose. Um, malicious. Construction cost, minus 40% for Cult of Cain or Cult of Pleasure buildings. The Cult of Pleasure, that's our enemies, of course. Um, okay, no, I do think I want... So, four turns until the Kraken Lord is uh, back. I do actually want uh, this. Disciplined. Leadership and melee attack will be good for our... That. So we will have to use this uh, sorceress until uh, till our gallant leader is back, and I'm just gonna borrow these uh, items uh, from him until he is back. I do hope he uh, does not mind that we take his stuff wh whilst he is in uh, the hospital. So anyway, uh, they will probably try to do something Supreme against us, so uh, we obviously have to build some stuff. But first, we will see if we can um, build something here. Yes, we can. Growth. Boom. And Fight then we'll the see about recruiting. The portents are good. So that's all we can do, and uh, yeah, I will take the turn. Alright, so I took uh, two turns. And lo and behold, what has happened? We have been sieged by, uh, by this bastard. And thus we didn't recruit these uh, units, unfortunately. And... Uh, Weakness cannot be tolerated. Weakness cannot be tolerated. That will actually have to be the uh, name of this episode. Absolutely, absolutely epic. And Senoria, it looks like she wants to get our settlement here. Um, <laughs> absurd. Um, I think you do, dear lady. I think you do indeed. So we'll have to set the pace higher. I suppose. Okay, <laughs> mm. this is of course a um, a battle I don't really want to take since I suppose I will get absolutely wrecked considering the um, the units. But uh, we'll try at least because we need to um, defend our. Um, other settlement against the High Elves. So as you can see, their units are a bit better. They have three cavalry units, they have a bolt thrower, or actually four cavalry units, and then they have Witch Elves, who are obviously very good in uh, close combat, and uh, we have Corsairs and uh, Crossbows. We do have Jorian. Uh, I don't know exactly how potent she will be in... Uh, in the magic department, but uh, I suppose we'll figure out. 
All right, let us um, just encamp here and see what is up. Okay, so the uh, the balance of power is not in. Okay, now it it is evening out. Um, we still have our uh, magic from the ships, so that is something that we'll have to uh, use. Oh, look at that. We actually have a death hag. How uh, nice. And the scenery. Absolutely love it. This is exactly why I think it's so epic, this game. Uh, you definitely get the, the feel of being in being in the jungle, in the jungle and uh, fighting for treasure and glory. Now then, let's see what we can do. I don't want to use any of these while uh, the enemy is still moving because then I might miss. So I'm gonna wait a bit until uh, we get into close combat. Uh, our spearmen uh, will actually have to hurry up a bit so we can intercept their cavalry. And uh, yeah, they are uh, their flying units are getting wrecked. That's uh, joyous to see. Now we're gonna throw some magic as well. Not the best uh, throw there, I'm afraid. Okay, lads, get at them, boys. Actually, everyone can just charge in there, including the Death Hag. Alright, they're running away. Good. Trying again with some magic. Perfectly cast their uh, Druhi. Throw a spell there as well. And no, don't move away now. Oh, good. Perfect. Uh, we can't really see all too much in the forest, but, um, but anyway. Okay, uh, that didn't look all too well. I'm gonna try another magic there. Boom! There we go. That's uh, that's better. Right, dark shards. Get these cavalry lads before they um, can get in a charge. Oh, they wrecked the uh, our sorceress there. Okay, Death Hag, you will have to go in there. So this is actually, if uh, if I manage this correctly, we can win this battle. And now our special ability, Murderous Prowess, uh, is kicking in, and that's obviously very. Very good to have. And uh, what can we do here? Soul Rain. We will take it on you, and hopefully you will stand still until we. Um... Ah, it takes so long to. Uh... Ah, damn, we missed them. Uh, that was silly. I suppose this battle is a bit um, chaotic because uh, you can't really see everything that is happening. But um, but I will try to um, make some sort of cool cinematic thing at least. I can't do it for too long though, because I want to... Um, 
because I do want to win this, uh, this battle. Although, truth be told, it uh, don't know if it looks all too promising at the moment, but uh, you never know. We can just keep bombarding them with uh, all sorts of magic. Boom, there we go. Hello, lads. I heard you like magic. And they can't move. That's nice. Didn't really do all too much, to be honest. Uh, that spell. Aha, I can't control her. She's been... Um, um, gone rampage. And the target is too close there. Now we can do it. Okay, the, uh, but I'm hoping, by the way, that I'm a somewhat good commentator when it comes to um, these battles. I know when I streamed on Twitch before, I uh, was a bit bad at commentating at the same time as I was uh, doing the actual battle because I didn't want to divert my attention all too much. But I suppose if I can't do that, then I'm not an all too good um, um, commentator. Now we're gonna do take a last spell there. Boom, okay that's that's better. No, they should be uh, they should be routed. I don't see where they have any more units. Ah, there we are. I have uh, redeemed myself somewhat. I obviously need to redeem myself against the High Elves because this was mere rebels and not the glorious sons of Ulthuan. So, um, so yeah, but uh, good that we got these guys out of our way at least. Now I just hope that they won't uh, siege us again. Because whenever they siege us, we um, ah, uh, we can't recruit units. So, um, oh look at that bounce spell! Thank you very much. I, uh, thank you for the black staff right there. Um, so yes, we can't really attack them again. Uh, so what we do is um, going actually trying to recruit some units aboard this ship and then transfer it because then it doesn't matter if they uh, if they siege us or not. So uh, here we go, recruit units and uh, these are uh, good good guys. The people grow restless. Serious. And I will try to um, recruit locally as well, the in case they uh, do not um, siege. But we will be prepared to lose the settlement, and uh, we might get uh, the chance to redeem ourselves at least. We can actually upgrade this if we want to do that. I suppose that can be a good idea, uh, because then the next step is Reaper Pole Thrower, which is a really solid choice. So I'm gonna take um, the turn, and uh, maybe another turn. I'll see. Don't be scared by my helm, as intimidating as it is. Fear the being that wears it. Okay, Lord Skrolkbra, Clan Spittle. We have uh, gotten. A good deal, so, um... And he is our friend, after all. 
Aha, no, that was silly of me. I actually had a trade agreement with him. Uh, what we'll do is... To... Uh, ah, we're not gonna take this battle. I could probably have done it, but uh, I don't want to... Um, spend all of this episode losing against High Elves. So, um, we'll auto-resolve that. It probably won't matter all too much in the long run. Okay, so there they go. They are uh, besieging us as uh, I expected them to. Uh, she has leveled. I will uh, upgrade Chillwind because we will uh, get into battle again. We'll actually auto-resolve that. I will destroy them. And uh, slit there. We're gonna Rest. murder those captains. Okay, cool. Now then, what shall we do? We can. Um, Mother of the Dark Sorceress of go the down Dark here Hunt. and uh, prepare for. Could actually take Citadel of Dusk directly. Um, is one thing we could do. Um, we can level here as well. Blade Wind, boom. That's uh, that's great. That's a great spell. I will um, showcase it in when we get into the battle. Um, we have a good uh, financial um, situation. Indeed. And now we have some more choices here, but we're still going to go with... Uh, this guys and uh, there we are so 11 plus uh, 4 here is a 15 uh, then we have a full stack and can move in so I'll uh, take the turn and another turn and then we can fight again all right I took the turn and um, they reconquered or not reconquered they conquered um, this settlement and that's okay and then also Luke here is back in action, so we can um, we can recruit him here, I suppose, uh, or we can recruit him here. It is all a matter of um, preference, I suppose. Um, what we should definitely do is um, she will actually have to lead the charge here anyway. And we will recruit once more there, and then what we'll do is we can upgrade the Dark Citadel. So Luke here will have actually have to wait uh, another turn in order to um, to get back, unless of course we do that now. Kraken Lord, because he will, after all, be better suited to um, this will do. to lead this army. So, um, so yeah. Then also we can do something fun here. Chartered piracy upkeep minus five percent for block for black arc corsair units. Perfect. The great vortex is under attack, my lord. The winds of magic shriek and eddy about it in strange formations, for a mighty ritual is underway in some distant land. The power of the ritual pulls and distorts the vortex, yet there remains a chance to intervene. Find the whereabouts of those that channel the ritual and attack before its completion, my lord. Control of the vortex must not fall into enemy hands. Absolutely epic voice, if anything. Um, Clan Morse has uh, done that. So, what we will do now, and now I suppose we will merge with the fleet there. Aha, okay. Uh, and then I suppose... Where are you, Luke here? I have to do something along the lines of... We can't merge them yet. But what we can do is place them there. And then Luke here. 
Can try to merge. All right, yeah, we can actually merge them. Boom, perfect. Right, you have um, been great, Jorian, but you have to go now, so we can increase our um, income there. So now we are, um, perhaps, hopefully, we can. Uh, We can actually get these bastards. There we are. And now our gold smelter has been uh, completed. So now we see our uh, upkeep is uh, quite high. Even though we have a large and glorious army there. So they are recruiting. Um, but what we can do... Is uh, we can actually upgrade this, and that only takes one turn, and that is absolutely great. So the next turn we will have a better ability: Soul Torrent instead of Soul Rain, or Kane's Flail instead of Kane's Lash. So uh, probably go with Kane's Flail. That sounds cooler at least, and that's always a good. Indicator of something's usefulness, uh, how cool it sounds. Now, of course, we have um, two possibilities. One is to charge in here, but they do have a garrison here. A quite high level, because they're level 3 elven colony. Or we can go here. Where they have a depleted Unwise. garrison. And um, I actually do think it's better that we can take these two settlements so we can complete this place again. If I can. If I can reach it. No, I can't. I can almost reach it. But uh, I think that will have to be for next episode so that we have a guaranteed fight. Then and there. Or I could just take it. That's uh, that's more epic. So this will be a an episode where we have no less than three battles. That would be um, quite glorious indeed. Then I hope. Um, well, I do hope that we. Aha! Uh -huh. I got interrupted. I said um, I was going to say that I don't hope that we steamroll them, but uh, now I actually do hope that we would have done so. Um, no, there's no chance that we can get all of these guys. They are uh, outnumbering us quite a bit. Curse, retreat! retreat. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> they still want to box. Alright. I suppose we'll have to um, try to beat these guys anyway. Alright, we're in the battle. And... Um, yeah, we can just start and see what um, what happens. Uh, gonna advance a bit, I suppose, so we can take coverage in this uh, forest. The high elf units are stronger than the dark elf ones, and they are outnumbering us. So I. I'm not all too sure that we could actually take this battle, I'm afraid. But uh, you never know. We can try some sort of flanking maneuver at least. We could definitely use some um, bolt, bolt throwers. In this army that will allow us to dictate the pace a bit more uh, as it is right now I think they have a missile superiority even though half of our army is um, uh, missile units so um, okay there it begins all right let's not uh, wait anymore uh, 
We can advance. Otherwise, we will get uh, wrecked at a distance. Right, get at him, boys. Now, let's see. And everything we have. Get at him, boys. Now, if I am not that talkative, it's um, for the beautiful reason of um, that I'm trying to uh, concentrate to the uh, to the extent that I might actually win this battle. Uh, I wouldn't hope for too much, though. But look at this! Look at this! Melvin is actually fleeing, and Lucre is coming at him. Um, what an absolute bastard who flees and leaves his troops to um, to these uh, Drushi madcunts. And this is absolutely beautiful. They are packed uh, there. Which means that our um, magic is uh, very potent. We are ready! It is done. Die, weakling! Die, weaklings. The uh, Drushi, they do not appreciate weakness. I think this is a reasonable course of action. Uh, to not appreciate weakness. Look at this. I did not think it could go this well. Uh, I won't take out anything uh, in advance, but um, yeah, looking better than I thought. And we do have, of course, our uh, Black Ark um, that is aiding us. Boom, there we go. Absolutely joyous, if anything. Ah, we do have some units here for some reason. We must have chased some of the uh, hiles away, I suppose. Kill everything. Okay. Uh, yeah, this battle looks great. This is the greatest battle of all time. It looks like I will get my revenge. Unless... Something blasphemous happens. They have uh, Senoria, the princess, there. Um, and Lukir, you know what to do. Oh, look at that. We have the thumbnail of the video. She got absolutely wrecked. Feminists blown the fuck out. Um, great. Absolutely awesome. Then I got um, my revenge and I'm happy that I actually took this battle in this episode after all. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely prosperous. We will enslave them so that they can work on my um, in my gold mine or in my gold smelter that we have uh, completed. So, yeah. Uh, as usual, um, comment. Comment what you have trained or what you will train. Always a good, uh, good thing to comment. So thank you for watching. XXO, boom.